No, not the YouTube. But, uh, it no. comes first known. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. the it's the one that was supposed to cover the CBS. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the one that was supposed to cover last week. I put it over here. But this is interesting. This is interesting. Hold on, what's the YouTube? What's the YouTube video? Oh, I think that YouTube video has to go with that. Okay, yeah, we, yeah, I got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Um. Leah Thomas, Penn swimmer, becomes first known transgender athlete to win Division I national title. Thomas finished just nine seconds behind Katie Ledecky's 500 yard freestyle record of four minutes and 24 seconds. All right, and before we get into this, what's your thoughts? Um, because look, we're seeing this, right? We're seeing this, and the reason why I jumped from juicy to this is because I felt like it played in. And if you go back and listen to the last Juicy and listen to a lot of the stuff that Judge Joe Brown was speaking on, mm -hmm. it leads right to the same topic, right? And for as far as, first of all, we got this weird thing about equality. We have to stop it, bro. I think we're ruining ourselves. Like he was saying, like, and and and, 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 and Miss Dana made it clear when she was like, we don't have a homophobia problem in the black community. I don't know what you, like, why do y'all say that? Why do y'all say that, bro? I be seeing black people so flamboyant in our community, bro. Even gay white people act like black people. Mm -hmm. I think black people started that gay shit, bro. We not homophobic, bro. We don't got no problem with it, really and truly. But we don't think that it's normal. We think that there's something going on, but we say, yo, that's bruh. I don't want to attack, bruh. Brush should do what he want to do. That's what it is. But now when we start playing this weird game where they start trying to make claims like, yeah, yeah, bro, it's no support for us. But no, no, we don't support it. We don't have no problem with it. We don't support it. Mm -hmm. We're not pro it, right? It's, it's there. It's like, yo, it's there. Right? It's, it's a bunch of shit in the world that we're not pro, right? Pro motherfucking poison. You're not pro poison. You're like, yo, it's poison on earth, right? Mm -hmm. Right? I'm not comparing y'all to poison, so don't, don't <laughs> I hate the fact that I went there immediately. But, Ambrose, what's your thoughts on this whole Leah Leah Thomas situation. Like, how do you like what that just just like how would you feel because you play college sports, right? Mm -hmm. How would you feel you've been playing since your freshman year, your senior year, you done finally put some stuff together. Mm -hmm. You throwing goddamn javelin nigga. Somebody from the goddamn track team on the boys. Mm -hmm. He was he, 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 he we weren't good at javelin. He's always like sixth, but he mm -hmm. tried hard. He said, Yeah, you know I'm a woman this year. And he switched over to your team and he fucked around and he go win the NCAA championship. How would you feel about something like that? Would you feel like it's fair or unfair? Like just, as, as a woman, right? Somebody just coming in your sport. And I like I, I, let me let me not, I don't want to frame it no way. I'm just saying as a woman, you you doing mm -hmm. your sport and somebody come and they went they, they just went out of nowhere. Um I'm a person of curiosity. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to me personally, I, I I think I can only say I'll be okay with it. And I'm saying I'll only be okay with it because they need to see how dumb it is <laughs> to okay. do that. So you you you're more interested in to see if he loses. No, I want him to win every time so they can see how dumb it is to put someone that doesn't belong in a group. Like okay, like what do you like? Okay. What is this? What is the point of this? Yeah, it sucks for the person that, you know, was just caught in the experimental phase and, you know, time. But I'm talking about you worked so hard, Empress. This was your one year. The year before. It sucks. The year before you came in second. It was, it, it was this goddamn senior that you could not beat in. The Finally out of here. <laughs> and then a tra transgender athlete comes in. Um, Yeah, like I said, I would, I would be okay with it. It would suck. But I would be okay with it so they could continuously win every year. I mean, unless she's a senior or whatever, so now you're only experiencing it for one year, and then we don't get another trans athlete for the next four years, so you can't really see the, the debilitating effects and how discouraging it is to female athletes, you know, naturally born female athletes. So I would hope that it would just continue to be a thing and more trans athletes will come in and, you know, we can get this over with faster than uh, – sooner than later – but yeah, I, I think stop, the Empress, huh? if, if we all want to be great, right? Mm -hmm. And some and, and people are saying we're equal. Like like I said, that's why I shout out Caitlyn Jenner. Mm -hmm. I, me personally, I'm never going to say Caitlyn Jenner is a woman because I think that would make me crazy. But I, I, 
bro named Caitlyn, right? So I'm calling I'm calling Brad's name. Mm -hmm. One thing I like about Caitlyn Jenner is Brad don't think that it's right to compete against women. Mm -hmm. It's nowhere in his mind that he like, yo, I think I should just no, because he know he was an Olympian. He beat great man, bro. Right. He was smash woman, bro. Like it wouldn't even be a comparison, but he knows, and he's a transgender. So like, and then he was looking at it almost like it's almost wicked. Because you know inside yourself the same way I know inside myself that I could beat these women. But mm -hmm. you're playing a game, too. And he's saying it sucks for the woke woman. And and, and those are people that, that you're saying you really want to feel the pain, right? The no, I really woke. wanted to come to the true war that we've been needing to fight in is long overdue of actual femininity. Not this feminist, I want to be equal to masculine movement that we've pushed. And that's what I hate with like Beyonce's message because... I never knew people thought she was a feminist. Mm. I was like, she's into femininity and the Oshun and all that stuff. But when I heard people try to drag her in as their ringleader, I was like, yeah, she made who run the world girls. But that was just an aspect of, yeah, we have children and we procreate and the world continues because of procreation, not we run the world. So we're done with, we're divesting from men and we're no longer going to procreate with like, we're gonna go all these weird routes to procreate like no 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 yeah. that's not the fight fertility natural natures you know what is it called when you pass pass through the ages um pass what do you mean like, like you're going into adulthood or whatever rites of passage yes the rites of passage that nature gives you you know to be fertile we're, we're we're talking about that that natural one not these um scientific methods that you guys are using because you guys are in that geriatric pregnancy you know phase or whatever the case is so yeah bro like i think that's what's going to happen it's going to literally be these female athletes protesting something real in regards to femininity like no bro y'all can't take our femininity bro like that that's just a line that y'all can't pass and yes it's going to cause a rift in between those athletes that are transgender or lgbtq as far as lesbian gay but uh, not gay but homosexual whatever the case is but it's like we have to address this issue head on bro cuz if not the female entity as a whole on this planet is going to be deteriorated and what is it called he was saying another word the like their their whole point that he wanted them to stick to is we need to have that you did de you deteriorated the victims that actually are you know experiencing hate crimes because they're black yeah, like yeah. you yeah, deteriorated yeah. that whole bubble of existence so like yeah. when black people are actually being penalized just for being black it's like oh gosh let's see if he's telling the truth or not like mm -hmm. you're you're guilty before you're innocent now because of something that Juicy Smollett did. And it's just... People don't get it. People don't get it. It's like, we don't, I'm saying that we really don't understand. Like, even what you're saying with, with Beyonce and just a lot of these celebrities, like, who, do you remember, they, they're young, they don't know what they're doing. It's just, mm -hmm. it's music is fun. But like I said, with all that, we just got to look at their actions. That way you will see she'll make these different songs. The end. But, when her and Jay Z go through it, she's still there. We don't see her speaking out loud and being. You feel me? We yeah. It's like when she do a performance, she going to Sasha Fierce, another alter ego. But as far as like being a woman, we don't see her speaking out of turn. As far as with her man, we never seen her come in and say, "Oh, shut up." You feel me? It's never mm -hmm. been that type of energy with her and her man. And, and that's key. Actions are way louder than words. And for you, <laughs> you male feminists. People like stop, like, yeah. don't even try to do that to Beyonce because she's obviously doing the complete opposite of what you guys are doing as far as being in a heterosexual relationship, procreating children, and so on and so forth. You know, what the Bible requests of all of us to do. And again, it isn't about having a problem, but we're not here to support that mm -hmm. mental yes, belief. Like, yeah. it's just not, it, it doesn't collaborate right with what makes sense which is procreation yeah well, well you guys you understand bro you we, just the same way we can't blame y'all y'all can't blame us bro because it'll just ruin the society it's like if you wanted democrats to like we don't want democrats to be republicans we want democrats to be truthful the same thing with republicans we don't want to be democrats we want mm -hmm. to be truthful whatever side you on bro just be true and that's bro. what i'll say because i was even going back to the don't sell homosexual bill and i'm like these folks really just need their own space because it's starting to get like 
that anti-Semitic vibe where it's like, you know what? Y'all just need your own little communities, your own neighbor, like just just go over there, bro. And if somebody come mess with y'all, then fine. That's All right, if someone comes to Chinatown, okay, then fine. That's the problem. But as far as you being in the heterosexual space, wanting the heterosexual three uh third grade through like kindergarten through third grade to be experiencing your emotions and stuff like that, it's not fair, bro. Like, why do I have to deal with what you're dealing with? And I'm saying it's terrible because I'm are, happy. These are youths. I'm telling you, I don't care what game y'all try to play with youths, bro. We got youths. I'm telling you, if it's some frank people on the planet, they the most frankest. Right. They gonna tell you. They they gonna see you. They gonna know you. Mm -hmm. They gonna know you by your fruit, bro. There's no way you're tricking a little kid, bro. A little baby ass child, bro. You're not tricking a child, bro. You probably could trick somebody that's yeah. Crazy. At best, that child shit. thinks you're dressed up in a costume outfit, <laughs> or you're you're some type of you're you're in a theme. You're you're in some type of park of <laughs> like just disney like just nothing in reality though they're not taking you like okay this is somebody this is a dad oh this is a man oh this is a woman oh this is someone i can trust as an adult no they're like okay this is someone that you experience in a theme park related you know festive moment but mm -hmm. not not anywhere else so yeah i just really think it's a matter of like okay maybe you guys just need to develop your own schools if you guys want to expose children to the homosexuality at five years old or when they're in kindergarten mm -hmm. fine okay yes you had your moment da, da, da. they do the same thing with pregnant females like mm -hmm. when females get pregnant in high school no you're not majority high schools try to put you into a space mm -hmm. where the rest of the school is as well pregnant because if they put you into the other space it kind of normalizes these young pregnancies where they can't afford mm -hmm. to do any of this. They have no wherewithal of maturity, expenses, just all that stuff that comes into play. It's like, okay, let's just put this over here so we don't normalize it. Mm -hmm. Same thing with LGBTQ. Like, again, no problem with it, but we're not here to support it or cause any confusion that isn't there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, yeah, they just, again, I think they should really just invest into getting their own schools. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Empress, could you do us a service of um pulling up? I want to see the thumbnail that we got for this video. I just want to show you the astronomical difference. Eesh. Um, and I also feel bad, actually, too. Um, just so I can just be completely out of the situation, I feel uh -huh. bad for the um the young brother, um, Leah Thomas, uh -huh. because. It got to feel weird to be ostracized and you're not ostracized because you want to be, I mean, because, because you, because of your transition, you're ostracized because you're annihilating. Yeah. Like you're in the <laughs> wrong area. Like mm -hmm. not a, like if you was just in life and if you could see this picture right here, um, it should be on the Johnson, right? Mm, hold on, All right. Second. Yeah. We're looking at it. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I just want them to really understand something really fast. Because if you see, if you see this picture right here, Empress, right? Mm -hmm. I have a quote right here. This is my quote that I made up. Right. And I, and I probably should let Empress write it for me. But this is just my quote that I made up. <laughs> and what I say, Empress... Do not call for manpower or woman power. Call for brain power. Right? So that's the only equality that I'm into if you want to be equal about some shit. Mm -hmm. But other than that... But even then, are you saying like the top chess female player could compete with the top male chess player? No, no. And then, but it's because the man has more brain power. But it's not about trying to empower one sex over the other sex. Mm -hmm. I'm just calling for the sex with the most brain power, right? And whoever that may be. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's the man. But I'm just saying there's different areas. Like, say, gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Doing little different little splits and different things. The man can't beat women in, in that, mm -hmm. right? So that's a different brain power. And that's what I'm saying. So it's not about like, and, and I'm really saying this for sports, really and truly, right? I'm not trying to say this, like, and, and maybe I shouldn't say it because I didn't think about it. I just, I, I, I just said it. 
No, I understood this I as something it. else. What, what, what you understood it as? It's like, forget the gym war, bro. Who's who's out here thinking? Who's out here using balanced logic and knowing? Mm -hmm. Who that's that's what we're looking for. Who's actually being black and experiencing that privilege from being black? Because we're not thinking no more. No, this makes absolutely no logical sense. Like it's just all Philly, Philly, Philly. We want to empower people. Empower people. Empower people for what? Is it smart? Does it make sense? We're not empowering it. If it don't make sense, we're not empowering it. It's not because we're against you, bro. It's just cause and that's why and, and that's why I said do not call for man power because I don't want it, I don't want it to be like, yo, no, no, because you a man. No, 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 it's not because he's a man. Mm -hmm. he, what what sense does it make yeah. for this guy to be here? Why? Why? What the flag? Why? <laughs> he's 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 blowing he's he's literally ruining the records because now we're gonna have to go in and put an asterisk by this guy. He was born a man first, so even with uh what is it, Flo? Flo Joe? Mm -hmm. Flo Jones? Who? The track lady. The fast one? Yeah. yeah. Where they have like these stipulations of like, well, this is a little bit different, this is a little bit different, like wind time or something mm -hmm. of that nature was different. Mm -hmm. Where they kind of like, always discredited or they weren't using the clock or something mm -hmm. at that point. Hundred percent fact. So yeah, it's just always gonna be these oh well. Oh well, that was a bubble championship. Oh well, oh, well, oh, well. It just murkies the waters, and it makes for an annoying ass debate and conversation. <laughs> that's, that's the main reason why we need standards. But zoom out a little bit, because in this picture, in in, in this little bubble, I know you see two female right, here, right, mm -hmm. but it's actually a third one that the um, Texas player is also holding. Mm -hmm. So three young ladies came up and stood on the podium, and you see second place is empty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. They're in third place. They all they all stand on the third place podium. I don't like this, but look at Leah's face. Zoom in on Leah. Leah is. Look how birds are standing there. I'm talking about you. Feel me? That's so funny. She literally looks like one of the teammates that I had, like a male teammate. He ended up going to UF. Literally, right? Just like him. So that's how Leah giving it up, bro. Come on, bro. That is a long neck. Come, what? That's a long neck. That's a big hand. That's a big body. That's a tall <laughs> neck. Hey, like, what are you? The yeah. difference. So I'm pointing it out, and I'm saying, yo, we gotta look into this a little bit. So all right, we we'll, we'll jump into this article, do a little, mm -hmm. you know, do a little reading on something, and then we you know. But I just wanted to show you this because this is what I was sad for Empress because now you're ostracizing her. But then I was like, bro, the way Burke giving it, I mean, her, I don't say that. <laughs> You're ostracizing Leah. The way Burke giving it up, it's like he don't give a fuck, though. Mm -mm. It's yeah, like, it's like he's in on a joke, like, yeah, let's just show them how stupid this is. Let's show Biden how dumb this is. Because it just makes no sense. Like, if he truly was like, bro, I'm a woman and I want to do, like, he would probably, like, you, you, you would be crying. Because, you know, that's what women do. We cry when people don't accept us. And that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he want to cry inside. So that's why I'm no, saying. No, as, as a as a now you. identified woman, you need to cry right here in front of us, bud. Show yeah. us how sad you are. I'm saying I'm sad for Leah because body dysphoria is real. Mm-hmm. All right, so somebody may think it's somebody else. So I can't be mad at that. But, bro. I don't care if you want to smile. I don't care because you're biologically a man. So whatever the situation is, you're gonna have that mentality <laughs> of not crying. You don't want to cry from nobody, but you're smirking, bro. But what made me sad though is that they're protesting against you in front of your face. <laughs> that shit would have broke me as a man. Nigga. I'm I'm throwing I'm playing some shit, <laughs> and and the three losing teams get <laughs> together, <laughs> and you're like he didn't win. Nah, he kept on calling the boys to the ass files. He did not win, y'all. <laughs> How would you feel about that? Man, that's crazy, bro. But th that's the only thing I was saying. That as far as me being Leah, that shit would have hit me hit me different. That would have been the one shit that would have made me be like, man. Putin, NATO. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, all right, so yeah, I read this part of it, uh, the title. Um... Leah Thomas, a transgender swimmer from the University of Pennsylvania, made history on Thursday. Thomas won the Women's Division I National Championship in the 500-yard freestyle, becoming the first known transgender athlete to win a Division I title. 
Thomas finished in a blistering four minutes and 33.24 seconds, good for 1.75 seconds ahead of Virginia's Emma Weant, mm -hmm. who came in second and just nine seconds behind Katie. League Decky's record of 424, nine seconds. Oh, my gosh. He was in the locker room by the time it was done. According to ESPN, there was not many cheers of support for Thomas during introductions before the race. The swimmer successfully tuned everyone out, though. It means the world to be here. I try to ignore it as much as I can, Thomas said after race. ESPN reported, I try to focus on my swimming, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just try to block out everything else. Now, what 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 the LGBTQ folks at? They ain't pull up. They pull up and cheer, cheer Leon. I'm trying to figure out if they think it's wrong. So, nevertheless, we're running by Emma. You know who Emma is, right? Emma is a white girl that went and um, she came second in the Olympics. So, she's a silver medalist. Mm. So, she, she she was supposed to win. <laughs> she was supposed to, you know, she was supposed to win. Okay. And OG came in and took that away from her. Right, so everybody's telling Emma, yo, Emma, you really won. Emma, you really won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that's what I was saying with Leah. Like, a lot of these things, it, it, it's hurting me. Cause I'm like, man, bro, what? I won. Right, so, yeah, that young lady right there, she was in the, um, she was in the Olympics. She was in the 2021 Olympics, and she um ended up getting a, a silver in whatever her event was. Silver medalist, uh, uh, Olympian, loses. And what are you saying? Are they going to put them like in the paraplegic league? Who? The transgender people. Why would they put them in the paraplegic? League? Not paraplegic, but like <laughs> what do they call it? Paralympics, yeah. Because paraplympics is for people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. By definition. And who are you gonna have? What do you mean? Like what are they gonna play against? The they, the disorder. transgender people are considered people with mental disabilities, right? Because they have to go through a whole cycle analysis and medication and blah, 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 all mm -hmm. this stuff. But I'm saying, though, who you have to compete against? Oh, whoever's in the field. What are you saying? Other people? Whatever they identify with, and yeah. Bro, I think, I think, I think a, a regular woman could be the people in the Paralympics. Is about? there something disabled about her? I'm, I'm just saying, though, Paralympics, you can't put people with the Paralympics. Why? Because then you will blast them out the water. The Paralympics are really loose. So are you saying Paralympics is only for physical disabilities, not, well, I guess your brain physical, is... Physical and mental, but it has to be a certain degree because one year a team played baseball. Mm -hmm. They pretend to be Paralympics. They smacked everybody, bro. Mm. They smacked those kids. Bro. Okay, what are you saying? He just smacked these girls. And that's what I'm saying. Though. But I'm just telling you, these women would smack those people. So if he played against them, it wouldn't even be a, a, a game to play. What? What is, like, why is that the line? Because he just smacked them. Like, what's the line? The line is, bro, <laughs> these Paralympics people, he's not, he, he's not, he's not, he's not saying that he's mentally disabled. He's identifying as So a what woman. is the whole dysphoria thing about? It's body dysphoria. I'm just saying he just he, he's in the wrong body. But I'm saying though, he, he would have to compete against people that's in the wrong body. Not fucking So you're saying the Paralympic guy Paralympic who people. who not Paralympic paraplegic, paraplegic who lost paraplegic, that you don't think he walk. feels like he's in the wrong body, like this not he's supposed to have all of these limbs? No, nah, yeah, no. Nah. I, I heard paraplegic talk all the time, nigga. They they, mm. they, they they make jokes about it. Yeah, yeah, like a nigga know what like you people they people through history has always identified problems and knew what it was. This is a new thing that we're dealing with right here, bro. You have to find a separate group, but I'm telling you because woman is so supportive. Because like where <laughs> they they can't compete in the Olympics, right? What you mean? Unless they go male or their natural born. What you mean? Gender, like a transgender can't compete on opposing sides, or they can. Wait, so there's transgender <laughs> Olympians? <laughs> Yo, trans weightlifter wins. Olympics. Watch this shit. Watch this shit right here, bro. Cause you, you're mm. bugging. All right, you want to continue reading while you see your setup? Mm. 
This person right here. You don't remember this person right here going around and smacking everybody? That buff weightlifter. Not this person. That's not the same person. I can't see her face in this one, so I don't know who that is. Yeah. But I do remember us watching the weightlifting part, and I don't know. I was just more taken aback by all the Olympians that were competing. Yeah, this person right here. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, this bro beat, beat, beat a black girl. This bro came on beating people. This is another bro that went to the Olympics, but I, I, I ain't. I didn't get my I didn't get to my story yet that I'm looking for, but yeah, there's like Okay, so they had a soccer player, a weightlifter, and what else? People could do shit, bro. Man, these rules are fake. Oh, it's two weightlifters. The rules are fake. There's no real rules. Oh man. All right. Um, I try to focus on my swimming, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just trying to block out everything else. Those are the words of Leah Thomas. Thomas did not participate in the post-race news conference required by the NCAA. As ESPN noted, more than 20 people representing Save Women's Sports and Young Women for America stood outside of where Thomas was competing to protest this woman competing in the women's category. Oh, so she about to get fined. Required by the NCAA. A third group concerned Women for America on Thursday. Oh, so these are the groups now. Save Women's Sports, Young Women of America. So that's an age barrier. And then this is a, I guess, activity barrier. So they're they're cutting themselves off from other women that could be involved. And then what's the last one? Concerned Women for America. I like that group. That, that's a fair, balanced name. It's inclusive of women and femininity. But anyways, a third group, Concerned Women for America on Thursday, announced that they are filing a Title IX complaint against Penn for violating Title IX by allowing Thomas to compete on the women's team right. going to ESPN. Nah, take, take <gasps> Ooh, on. that's a bad fight, right? What you mean? Because didn't they just have a girl on the football team? Oh, but they have a male's swim team, so he should be competing on there. Whereas with Title IX, it's like if they don't have a female football team, she can compete on the boys' team. Okay. Yeah, man, that's the importance of Title IX, bro. Title IX is a brand new thing. I don't say brand new. I'm it's talking like about like 70s. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about today, but I'm just talking about it's fair, it's fairly new, bro. Mm -hmm. We fought. I'm talking about humans fought to, to get, get on the board. Bro, we mm -hmm. couldn't get no woman nowhere, man. Niggas thought woman was gonna die. You see, and that's so funny. You know how you're talking about the McDermott? kid mm. that same lady was telling me how she came up in that time of playing sports and she was from like that midwest area and title nine had just came out or whatever so she was able to play basketball and stuff. i'm telling you bro it's fairly new bro mm -hmm. and now we're marking up the waters again and when people say something yo you hate them you no bro i love them bro but i love everybody it's equal so you cannot be saying that you don't love women now because bro you fucking up the title nine bro we talking about you a woman, bro. No, bro. That type not never worked like that, bro. It don't work like that, bro. Get out of here, bro. Fuck, fuck that, bro. A little, bro. See, this is my problem with, 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 with rules and white people. Rules and white people. This is my problem with them. There was a black young lady, 18, 19, right? Christine and Boma, an actual born woman. Mm -hmm. Couldn't compete, right? Couldn't compete because her testosterone was too high. We've seen born males take little pills, get testosterone down, and say, yo, I am a woman. I should compete. Caitlyn Jenner said, I have no testosterone, and I will smack a woman head off with anything <laughs> I do. There, there's certain things that I don't do only woman. There's some things that I'm like, yo, only woman. Yeah, this is just, this is brain power. This is this. We can match up. When it comes to me using strength, me using big lungs, me using big hands, <laughs> these are things that it's just a big separation between male and female, bro. Mm -hmm. So, I don't Literally, know. Michael Phelps up there standing next to those girls. Like, literally, same size, like, long everything. And long now, head. we can... Because I, I I had a picture I was, I was supposed to put in the job left Friday during the job. We could pull up a situation of him, of um Leah mm -hmm. versus other males, right? 2010, 
pictures when he, cause, cause he, 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 he was struggling. He was a collegiate swimmer. Mm -hmm. He wasn't doing nothing to the males over there. He won terrible though. So he was even solid over there. Mm. But he's at least like six six, bro. Six eight. He's a big bro. He's not tiny. But he wasn't no giant to the man. It was just like, yeah, little bro, yeah, they, we about to swear to little tight ass. You can't beat me, mm -hmm. right? So that's just, man. Hey, come on, woman. Yeah, that's like that's like a full grown woman and man playing in like a kiddie pool. <laughs> it's like when we see it, nobody is like, okay, yeah, this is normal. It's like, bro, get your ass out the kiddie pool. It's like somebody super big dunking on the tall goals. It's like, what are you doing? I told you, that's why we even, even when we was younger, we said, yo, we're not going to do age separation right now because age don't even mean nothing. Let's do weight. Let's do stuff like that. Yeah. This makes sense. Right, but now I'm Once big you as get hell. past that 13 threshold, age becomes relevant. Yeah. You need to be just, first and foremost, let's not go into the room, well, uh, a woman can be the guy that's seven years old. No. <laughs> a 13-year-old girl to a 13-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. There's no competition there. There's the boy and there's the girl. Mm -hmm. No one's better, but there's differences, okay? So yeah, um we have to understand we gotta start this equality shit because if y'all keep doing this, y'all get y'all ass smashed and every worker. You heard Trump. They girls came out, they was <laughs> that's the that's the person he was talking that about. That was yeah. That's the person he was talking Trump about. <laughs> Trump was laughing at it in so many ways. But that's the thing, like, how was that even able to happen? Oh, because it was at a state level. But Biden made it federally recognized. Mm -hmm. that okay. Was, that was his main shit when he came in. Soon finish he, finish Obama's business. As soon as he came and he was not playing. <laughs> finish not, Obama's he, lobbying business. And you feel me? And, and, and my problem with him, Amber, is his main thing was, I am not going to do executive order for things that when they come, another person, president comes in, he's just going to do an executive order reverse it. Mm -hmm. Why did you do them other ones then? The little climate shit? Niggas would come in the executive order reverse that too. Like, what do you... I don't get it. Like, did you sign us for four years? Like, did you lock us into a deal? To, like, what did you do to us that we have to, like, that the next nigga can't just come in there and be like, yo, executive order. We off that. <laughs> what like, What's wrong with Biden, bro? I'm telling you, they, they, they think we stupid, but go ahead. Um, the future of women's sports is at risk and the equal rights of female athletes are being infringed. Come on. The CWA president, also known as Concerned, what is it? Concerned, Concerned Women of America. Concerned Women of America. President and CEO Penny Nat said we filed not even of they concerned for America. Right? Mm. Yes, ma'am. My bad. That's even more powerful. Yeah. Concerned mm. women for America. Uh, I'm talking about okay. talking about the concern for America, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about I I need to start a group. It can't be a group. Worried man for America. <laughs> Cause I can't use concern because maybe they might have a concern. Well, I'll tell you not to worry though. Oh uh, man, bone book lad. Inquiring men. <laughs> right? You always say it's just a question. It's just discussion. I'm just trying to figure out what, what's the psychology. Gaslightingly angry man. <laughs> <laughs> For America. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you ready? Yes, man. We filed a formal civil rights complaint against you ah, civil rights complaint. to this injustice. And I was just saying that. I was like, oh, we like civil war or like, because I was listening to the Maya Angelou clip and I was thinking about like the whole civil war aspect. No, it wasn't Maya Angelou. I'm sorry. It was the HBCU stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, like, do they even acknowledge you on like a civil situation? As far as like with black people is what I was really thinking. About. I was like civil war, civil rights war. What that whole thing mm -hmm. is like, like if you're being uncivil in America at this point, it's like cancel culture got you covered type thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like civil war where it's like you're being bad towards these people or whatever cases. But I guess there is. It's the LGBT. It's just not our fight anymore. It's just took it on its own wild path. But yeah, there's definitely civil rights and civil war still going on. They're just kind of cold war. But there's civil wars every day, right? Just think about what a civil war would even consist of. Right? Like male versus female right now. Mm -hmm. The man going their own way and all this different. Mm, it is a civil that's situation. A, that's a civil war. <laughs> I feel like women are just 
acceptable yeah in all aspects and facets of life okay that makes sense right so everybody got a, a little yeah it's just rights. you know it's just a more modernized civil war yeah, where it's it not the no dogs no. <laughs> the holes you know the things that they put in our face to be like this is what a civil war looks like when in reality a civil war just has elements and concepts and if we start to look at the elements and concepts, it's like, oh, there's a lot of civil wars going on. They've I remember, I, remember I, tell, I was telling you about this bro a couple of years ago. Is, um, he played basketball when I was, this was probably like 2012 or whatever. I, was, I started really watching college basketball and play for Iowa State. Iowa State ended up going to the blah, boom. I'm seeing this hooper. I'm like, I oh, mean, I kind of like Brigham. Boom, he playing basketball. I'm like, man, I hope Brigham drafted. He gets drafted. I go mm -hmm. play 2K with him, bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. One day, nigga, a report comes out and says the brother don't like flying on planes. He's scared <laughs> to fly on planes. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, I don't want to fly on plane, but I don't. I've never really thought about it as a thing. But mm -hmm. if I got to fly on plane, I'm flying on plane. He was, he, he wasn't, he wasn't going for it. See, he, he, he was one of the first guys I seen stand up, and I, you know me, like I said, that's that's in my basketball time. So I'm like, mm -hmm. man, bro, tripping, bro. You giving up basketball for not flying on plane? He tripping. <laughs> Anyway, like, did he lose somebody from like the 9 11 situation? Right, he has this weird anxiety. So, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna send you that, that YouTube clip so you can put it up. But, nevertheless, his name is Royce White, mm -hmm. right? Hooper, long story short, he didn't have a long career because, like I said, he couldn't fly. So, I probably played one, two years, and then I don't know if he went and played overseas or anything else locally that he could do. Mm -hmm. But, I heard him speaking about the Osaka situation, situation today, and it was important. And it was like, ah, okay, I see that angle because that's our same type of angle where it's like, bro, we cannot minimize mental health to what a, what happened to Osaka. Like I'm saying, like that's that's something, but that's something different. Mm -hmm. That's these new kids wanting to be validated, right? That's what it is because you said it earlier when we watched it. You know, oh, that's what it is, babe. She used to be laughed at. She just yeah, wanted to be it's joking. it's a matter of being mentally weak. You haven't mm -hmm. experienced people, you know interjecting their thoughts like you 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 again can turn off the internet you can block people so you aren't exposing yourself to these realities so when these realities expose themselves to you you're not prepared and that's where this apathy comes in at and you know this whole gaslighting of mental health when it's like no i'm just mentally weak so anybody who says anything bad about me i'm gonna cry about it so now imagine how you use that and you say, yo, look what's going on. What you did was now you minimize somebody like a Royce White that can't go on a plane because of his anxiety. The trauma. Right, the real PTSD. shit that we need to worry about. And I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's nothing wrong, but like, that's, bro, that's bullshit, bro. Let's worry about actual, like, Leah. Like, this actual shit but, going uh, on right here, You bro. see, that's the thing. I don't want to dismiss her situation neither and saying, like, it can't cause the health of her mental to deteriorate because she's so fixated on what happened at Indian Wells and those people heckling her. She doesn't want to go back to Indian Wells or whatever the but case is. But that's just validation, so mm -hmm. I have to minimize it just for now because I'm telling you, somebody like Royce White, he couldn't continue to play sports. Mm -hmm. It wasn't where, nigga, I'm crying every night because I got to go on the plane and I get my little blankie and I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> right? It's like, I can't do this, bro. Mm -hmm. It's millions of dollars for me. I can't do it, bro. Right. right. D d there's something more simple. Even like, like you know, back in the rights. Back right. in the days, I just remember like people having like a phobia of hair on Maury and things of that yeah, nature. Yeah, they yeah. had these weird phobias. Like those are like, really debilitating states of minds. And it's like, bro, we have to nip this in the butt. Or this person is literally gonna off themselves in front yes, of a whole man. bunch of other people yes, and man. it's gonna scar everybody in the space. And yes, we don't man. want that to happen. So yeah, we definitely got to know the difference between being mentally weak and being mentally unhealthy. So we have to change this culture, bro. We have to change this culture with our young youths wanting to be validated so much. But like mm -hmm. I said, bro, me and Empress could definitely sympathize with it. Really not sympathize because we don't like a sense of sympathy, but definitely empathize with it because we, we feel it, mm -hmm. right? You can feel it right now, right? Talk, why, why are we talking about it? It's like we're we, we saying it, but we still like, ah, but what about... You know, because we understand, bro, but man. Yeah, it just always goes back to that question that I told Jace to ask, like, the JV players or whatever. It's like, can this coach whoop you? Because that's the worst thing that can happen to you, bro. Somebody put their hands on you and injure you in a harmful way because they they assume, like, oh, they were depressed or whatever the case is because coach is yelling at them to kind of get right and get better at basketball, and they feel like they're being personally attacked. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, he does this to everybody. Like, there's no personal attack against you. He wants you to get better. 
But they got lost into the whole, oh, this person, you know, doesn't like me. So now it's low self-esteem. They're kind of depressed if they want to quit or whatever the case. And it's like, no, you have to actually listen and not take things so personal. So that's mm -hmm. the key thing here, bro. Facts. We have to understand the content and sustenance of what people are saying versus like, oh, they're just they're just attacking me just because they don't like me. No, it's not personal against you, bro. And Please. it was one person, right? And like, just think about in this situation how they filed a formal civil rights complaint, right? Right. What civil rights complaint would I file if I was working for, for um, Osaka and I was like, man, we got to file something for this shit? What would I say? Man, that one person right there, <laughs> he, he said something bad and then they jeered him. It's like, yeah, they booed him. We don't we, we don't stand or for what that. you're gonna try to sue the person that didn't let you speak on the mic and speak your piece like who who <laughs> who who do we go to right, what is the actual complaint that right, causes like, trauma <laughs> we got to think about it as a matter of fact what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna read the civil rights situation i need to figure out some complaints that i can file hmm. i know they have the thing of just banning people but yeah i think that's as far as it goes but I don't know, man. The way this cancel culture is going, they might be able to sue people just for heckling. <laughs> <laughs> um, the win is Thomas's first national championship, but it adds to her to four Ivy League championships. But it adds to four Ivy League championships. Hmm. You been to Ivy League? Mm -hmm. hmm. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, that's the conclusion of that article. Okay. Bam. So now we run, run the huh? Bam. <laughs> Federal civil rights law help to protect you from unfair treatment or discrimination because of your race, color, national origin, disability, age, or sex. All right, so those are civil rights complaints. So like if, if somebody got somebody like a male opinion as a female. That's that's a civil rights problem. That's why I was saying mm -hmm. man versus woman right now. That's a civil rights issue right there to me. Mm -hmm. That's a civil rights because it's it's two different people on two different opposite. It's not like it's man versus man. It's like just because man versus man, I just be like, oh, this nonsense. But a black man versus a white man, two different races. You feel me? Like that's how the difference come into mm -hmm. thing where it's like ah, we got to dip this in the bud because this is called something bigger. If it's black man versus black woman, bro, that could be a big war, bro. And then black woman can say, yo, let me get white woman. White, white woman hate white man. So then, boom, so now it's white woman. It's just, you just keep getting more people in it. Keep getting mm -hmm. more people in it. But right now, with Russia doing what they're doing, it's technically the East versus the West, but it's also really like where the East like, nah, well, we not Russia, though. That's sneaky. Right? So you, you can disassociate yourself from things, but with a civil war where it's race versus race or sex versus you, it gets real mucky real quick if it's Blacks versus white or Americans versus Russian. And, you know, you, you like even I'm thinking about the Asian hate situation and how they portrayed as mm -hmm. um, this white or yellow versus black situation. When mm -hmm. in reality, it's this mental health and poverty situation because majority of the attacks that are being done are literally on people with mental health issues who have just been released from prison on bail or they're just. They, they don't have a home. They don't have anything. And it's like, is this really a black versus yellow or is this is New York versus yellow? <laughs> because New York is responsible for keeping those people out the streets. Like, what is New York doing wrong? And let's, let's add that it ain't just Asians getting pushed by these same homeless and mentally debilitated people. There's other races being everybody like everybody. exposed to these same <laughs> acts of violence. So it's just like uh -huh. everybody. We can say anti-Asian hate, but what about the Spanish lady that just got pushed? What about the black lady that just got pushed? Like, are we just gonna ignore those small, isolated situations because they weren't an Asian? Like, no. It's New York needs to get their affairs in order and stop being so concerned about needles and all these other chicken <laughs> coupons they're trying to give out and focus on, you know, reality of their city. It's like, bro. Why are all these people getting out it like is. continuous offenders? Like they're begging you to keep them somewhere away from people, and you guys are continuously bringing them out. Hey, babe, but it's crazy though. What's going on? I told you about Rikers. Them boys went on. Strike no, these so people crazy. don't need to be on Rikers. These people need to be in mental health facilities, okay. wards. Like 
you're not getting out till you get right mentally. But Empress, we could also let's, let's say right here, violation of of religious freedom, violation of conscious or religious freedom. That's a complaint. Mm -hmm. you say, what's it? What? What's they asking me right now? What is the nature of your complaint? Oh yeah, that's why. He literally got null and void in the state of Florida, and they don't have the mandates for the bigger companies here. It's like violation for privacy or security of health information, HIPAA, hmm. which states is a federal is a federal law, not a mandate, a law that gives you the rights over your health information. So if you force somebody to give you your, your health information, you have committed a civil rights fucking fraud act. And that's <laughs> why they don't force you. They just fire you. And that should be a problem. And that's why so much motherfucking lawsuits out right now. And I hope everybody will. Bro, that's why this world is literally in shambles, bro. Man. It's not from the vid. Do not let... <sighs> Do not let Biden tell you it's because of Russia. The gas prices are up right now. The gas prices are up due to mandates, bro. Mandates. That normal working class civilians that have been taking protective measures and doing what they need to do to protect themselves from the vid literally cannot go around. They can't exempt themselves. They can't do anything. It's either you take it or you get fired. That causes a complete shock to the, the, the train of this thing we know as America. Dead stop on the tracks, no movement. What, what they got the Russia uh, convoy doing? What are they doing? It's been at a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've been trying to figure out when they're gonna get the key, bro. And it's not that we want them to get there, but like, what the word is this, bro? And I'm hearing people say, "Yo, Putin may have got the wrong information. That's why he's firing people because they say he fired generals and fired this break." For real? Yeah, they fired people. That he moving niggas down, he got wrong information. That's why people dying. He didn't know that this was that, and maybe he thought it was soft, or maybe he got information that yo, they got some soft underbellies, and he mm. went in real soft and they smacked him around. And... <laughs> Shit getting crazy right now. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you. Bro, I'm about to say something, bro. I forgot, bro. Man, I'm just going in, bro. But everything these dudes are the bros against the law. Yeah, you were talking about HIPAA and the fact that they're trying to blame the whole stoppage of the society on the like mm -hmm. David and Biden and the gas prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just these people, like right before all this happened, we were just focused on the truckers and their protest in Canada. And when it started to get ugly, you seen how fast they were able to just lock in on Russia and Ukraine. Like, a, two countries, just two huge body land masses over. Like, they're they're all the way over there in, what, Pacific? Somewhere far, bro. And that's always interesting, too, because now what I start thinking is, okay, what's going on with the truckers? The situation don't stop. We seen what happened to one of the little truckers. Man, I gotta get away from you. They <laughs> you about to play the YouTube job first, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that video was so like sad <laughs> and precious all at the same time. It's the first one. 